what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's video i'll be solving a question from work power and energy so let me go through the question very quickly so there is a hemispherical bowl okay and there is a rod of length l where point a is hinged and at point b there is a bead and both the points are situated on the brim of the hemisphere of the opening of the hemisphere the bead b is released okay and it falls by on the inner surface inside the hemisphere and we need to find out the tensile force in the rod when the bead passes the lowest position okay so this is a very easy question it would take at all at most 4 to 5 minutes so if this is the diagram and uh, this is the center here is point a and somewhere here it is point b after releasing the bead will come at its lowest point somewhere here okay at that time the tensile force is t okay this length is l which is equal to the radius of the hemisphere this is also r and this length is also r okay and this is the vertical distance this is the vertical distance that is now listen this one is an equilateral triangle so this is the bisector 30 degree so this vertical length would be r cos 30 okay would be using this after a few minutes now if i draw the diagram of the rod and the bead separately okay this is the center let me write it as o this is point a now the forces that are acting on the bead is the tensile force the normal force okay its own weight that is mg okay and uh, here is the bisector line making an angle 30 degree now at this point the bead has attained a speed v and uh, this direction of the speed is coming out of the i mean it is in such a way that the bead is trying to coming out of the screen okay so first let me find out the equation of speed that would be using energy equation mg r cos 30 so v would be v square is 2g r cos 30 so let it be equation number one now using the concept of circular motion we can write that net force towards the center will be equals to mv square by radius of the circular path now let me tell you that the center of the path is this one here somewhere here okay so this is the center of the path let this be point p let this be point p this is the center okay i hope you can understand the diagram so this is the center and the radius is r cos 30 degree now net force towards the center is t cos 30 and n cos 30 minus mg so t cos 30 plus n cos 30 minus mg equals to m v square by radius of the path now if you try to balance the forces along this line then we can see that t sin 30 is equal to n sin 30 making both the tension and the normal equal okay now from the second equation we can write that 2t cos 30 minus mg equals to m by r cos 30 and we can just plug the value of v square here that is 2g r cos 30 now that would be 2t 
root 3 divided by 2 minus mg equals to r cos 30 gets cancelled out and we get 2 mg. So, root 3 times t equals to 3 mg and the tensile force at the bottommost point is equal to root 3 mg. Okay. So, this one was an easy question. I hope uh, this video was informational for you. Okay. Thank you.